Arbitration of Insurance Coverage Disputes, a Policyholder's Definitive Survival Guide. Arbitration provision are become increasingly common in insurance policies, particularly where specialty coverage is concerned. Many legal practitioners favor arbitration over litigation, depending on the nature of the case. Unfortunately, when it comes to insurance dispute, arbitration can be disadvantageous for policyholders. Too often, the process is caught in the favor of the insurance company. Increasingly, insurance policy arbitration provision contain language not only limiting a policyholder's right but also eviscerating established legal protection, both statutory and under common law. Most policyholders have no choice when it comes to the inclusion of such provision, which often consists of standard form language. This has led several states to ban arbitration of coverage dispute. As of July 2010, the arbitration state had anti-arbitration provision. Arkansas, Georgia, Kansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, Missouri, Montana, Nebraska, Oklahoma, South Dakota, and Vermont. Rhode Island has stated that allows for arbitration only at the option of the policyholder. When policyholders feel strongly that an insurance company is employing improper claim handling tactic or simply fighting a valid claim, there are sometimes ways that they can avoid arbitration and have the day in court they deserve. Too many policyholders, however, get stuck dealing with unanticipated claim dispute that must be resolved confidentially under arbitration provision they may never have read or may not even have realized were included in the policy language. However, when they cannot be avoided, arbitration proceeding can be managed effectively to make the playing field less slanted. Arbitrators have little incentive to side with policyholders whom they are unlikely to encounter again in the future. Whether negotiating to avoid having arbitration provision inserted into your coverage, fighting to avoid an unfair arbitration process, or facing an unavoidable arbitration, Policyholders need experienced coverage counsel. At each state, sophisticated policyholders and risk managers can avoid common mistakes. The idea is to make the negotiation or arbitration process work as well as possible by understanding in advance the ways in which the deck is taken against the policyholder. State court and legislatures understand that coverage dispute do not involve an even playing field. Consequently, case law has developed and stated has been enacted that contains significant protection for insurance consumers, including presumption in favor of coverage or again the drafter of unclear policy language, as well as so-called fee-switching laws. Some standard form arbitration provision do away with this protection. The operative arbitration requirement may not even be in the insurance policy itself, but rather included in a side agreement for collateralizing premium or as deductible security. Where a policyholder never agreed to arbitrate but received side agreement containing arbitration, provision, or final policy language after other essential coverage elements were bound, policyholders should not have to arbitrate. Here are 10 specific ways arbitration can work against policyholder. First, force compromise. Arbitration by its nature is generally more focused on compromise than litigation, wherein a party's right may be vindicated fully. Insurance companies routinely take advantage of this to avoid paying a claim in full. This is unfair because insurance disputes are different from typical commercial disputes. Policyholder consumers do not purchase insurance to have their loss split down the middle so they receive 50 cents on the dollar. 
when a policyholder suffers an accidental loss, he or she is not at fault in any way. Even where a policyholder may arguably have been negligent, leading to an accident, the argument can be made that the insurance company accepted that risk, took it into account when underwriting, and calculated an accepted premium based on full payment. Moreover, most insurance companies evaluate risk, especially risk arising from negligence, before selling insurance and even told their experience and expertise in doing so as part of what they sell. Accordingly, policyholders may reasonably expect to be made whole for a covered loss and to not be shunted into a confidential process specifically designed to promote compromise. Second, loss of legal protection. Arbitrators seeking to find a compromise may ignore or only partially apply routine statutory or common law protection of policyholders' interests. Certain protection, such as fee shifting, may be less available in arbitration because the arbitrator considers them to have a punitive element at odds with the spirit of compromise. Moreover, as mentioned above, many arbitration provisions expressly take this protection away by, for example, expressly disallowing the collection of fees by the policyholder. Third, arbitrator bias. Arbitration is a commercial enterprise. Arbitrators have little incentive to side with policyholders whom they are unlikely to encounter again in the future. Individual policyholders are unlikely to be a continuing source of revenue. This is not true of insurance companies that are in a position to offer repeat business. Judges are appointed or elected, but arbitrators generally are chosen by the parties. Arbitrators that are prepared to issue a word or decision perceived as punitive toward insurance companies are less likely to be selected more than once by insurance companies and so they may forfeit a substantial source of repeat business. Fourth, streamline justice. In the more casual atmosphere of an arbitration, Arbitrators may feel less compelled than sitting judges to follow the letter of the law. This is a particular problem when it comes to allegation of bad faith or other policyholder protection that an arbitrator may see as tangential and not within the scope of the streamlined arbitration proceeding, which are designed to foster speedy resolution through compromise. For example, even the most well-meaning arbitrator may be less inclined in the to apply the any possibility of coverage standard or construe policy language against the insurance company because the result would yield a complete victory for the policyholder as opposed to a compromise resolution. Moreover, arbitrators have tremendous latitude with minimal public and often no judicial scrutiny.